Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my brow routine. Um, I got a request from a subscriber asking to do a video on like how I do my brows and some tips and stuff. So yeah, that's what this video is. <laughs> All right, so if you'd like to see how to recreate these brows or how I do my brows, go ahead and continue to watch. Before you even fill in your brows, you want to make sure that you pluck any stray hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I like to use a really pointy tweezer like this because it just gets every little tiny hair. Tip is to use a primer for your brows. I like this one because it's um, it keeps my brows matte um, and it keeps the product on, but it doesn't have like it, it's not like flaky or anything. Because you know how some matte primers like they make you look ashy, and it, this one doesn't do that. This one's the Stay Matte Primer from Ramel. I don't really like it on my skin, like for my foundation, but I do like it for my brows. I can get it out. There we go. is taking your spoolie brush and going ahead and brushing all of your brows into place. This one's just the Sonia Kashuk um, regular spoolie brush. I like this one because it's like stiff enough that it does um, brush my product out so that it's not super like harsh and stuff. So I do like this one, but any spoolie brush is is actually filling in the brows. And this is just my Wet n Wild. Um, it's a cool eyeliner, but I like this one for my brows. It's in Sima Brown now, so just any dark brown eye pencil or brow pencil will do fine. Um, I don't suggest using a black pencil just because it comes off a little bit kind of harsh. I used to fill in my brows with a black pencil, and even though I did kind of like blend it out and everything, it was just a little bit harsh. So if you, you know, even if you do have black hair, I think a dark brown liner is fine. This is the darkest one that Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild has that's a good pencil. They do have one that's a little bit darker, but it sucks, so this one's fine. I like how it looks. It matches pretty much any hair color that I've used, so... Okay, so you just kind of want to follow the natural shape of your brow. If you don't have very thick brows, like my brows are not very thick at all, but um, if you don't have thick brows, you can kind of pick whatever shape you want to do. So go ahead and just follow the natural shape of your brow, especially if you do have, like, you know, thick brows, you don't want to overdraw them or anything. Outline both of or this other brow off camera. So another tip is to make sure that you don't bring your brows in too close and that your tail is not too long. So a rule of thumb, which you guys probably have already seen or heard somewhere, um, but right where your nose is, your nostril is, you don't want to bring your brow any forward or any more like in than where your nostril is. So if you see my pencil is right here, I don't want to bring my brow any, you know, inward any more than where this is right here. So right where my line is, that's where I, I don't want, I don't want my brows to be any closer than that because it's going to look like a unibrow. Same with this side right here. And then if you just take this and you line up your nostril with the corner of your eye right here, that's where your tail should end. So right, right there. Mine's a little bit long, so I do cut that off with my concealer. And then same with this side. Just check it, line it up with your eye, and make sure your tail is not any longer than that one. This one's actually perfect right here. Okay, and then the arch, um, you can kind of just go in the middle of that, like right where your pupil, or eye, iris, I guess, pupil is. <laughs> so you're gonna go right there and make sure your arch lines up like that and then same on both sides your brows do not need to match like exactly your brows are sisters and not twins so it's okay if they're not exactly identical so yeah but that's just a rule of thumb to do this this and this to make sure your eyebrows are symmetrical with your face shape step I'm going ahead and sharpening my pencil because I want my pencil to be super sharp for this I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with hair like strokes <laughs> just really small strokes like that you just want to mimic the shape of your hairs so don't do this with a dull brush I mean you can but it's kind of a waste of product but just fill them in with kind of fast light strokes so that it's not too too dark and except for the inner part so what you want to do is mimic the same thing that you were doing filling in your brows except you want to just go straight up in the front
and I'm not filling in any more like the hair parts. I'm just filling in the like bald parts, I guess, like right here. And that's it for filling in. You don't want to overfill. Take my spoolie brush one more time, and I'm going to go ahead and just brush my brows and kind of disperse any product that I put and kind of blend everything out because you don't, right now my brows are a little bit last step is cleaning up your brows and I'm gonna go ahead and take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to clean my brows some people go ahead and just take like the applicator and just go in with this and I I'm kind of afraid that I'm gonna get a big glob of concealer on my brows so I do put some on the back of my hand as you can see there I used to use the um, what is it called Milani cream to powder foundation and I like the formula of that it's just the color that I was using had a little bit too much of a red undertone so it didn't look good as a brow highlight so this color right here I think is perfect because it has a golden undertone. Um, any concealer is fine. I just If you use a concealer that's kind of on the thicker side, I do suggest wetting your brush with a little bit of like Fix Plus or even dipping it in some water first to kind of shear out the concealer. Kind of like what a beauty blender does when you apply your foundation with it. It shears out your foundation so it's not too heavy. So it does the same thing. And I'm just using the Sonia Kashuk flat brush or flat concealer packing brush if I didn't mention step is to finish off your brows with a little bit of brow gel this is the elf clear brow and lash mascara this one's kind of gross because it's just you know it blends in my um eyebrow pencil has kind of like you know blended in with the product but it's still fine and then this side I haven't used it yet just because this one still has some product left in it so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just do this and this kind of just makes your brows stay in place and it brings out your hairs a little bit more to make your brow look even more natural one last tip, if you notice that your brows are kind of like a little bit different in the front, you can always take your concealer brush and then just kind of go in on the front to feather out any mistakes that you've made. This was a really light hand because I see that this one's a little bit more round in the front and then this one's a little bit more boxy. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, fade the front just a little tiny bit, kind of like what you do with the spoolie brush. And about to that's looking pretty good. That is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. And no way am I telling you that you have to do your brows like me. This is just how I like to do my brows. And someone asked me to do a video on brows and tips and stuff. So this is how I do my brows. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.